All right, everybody, we're back for today's workout. Today, we're going back to that workout we did on the first day and the third day. If you have not watched those videos yet, make sure you go back and watch those so that you understand what we're talking about with this one. The first one, video one, is going to be the one where we describe how to do all these exercises, and then video three, talking about how we are gonna go through and progress over time. So today, with our A runs, day one we did miniature, then we did medium. Guess what we're doing today? We're doing high knees, okay? So we're gonna take that rod, stick it out of your shin, boom, bring it right up to your knee. So now, as we bring those knees up, elbows are still at 90 degrees, hands are still starting by the pocket. When we bring those knees up, now those hands are coming up right in front of our face. Your thumb should be even with your chin, fingertips right in front of the eyeballs, okay? So starting in first gear, same thing. Nice and easy, get a good rhythm feeling where those arms need to be, making sure we're not karate chopping. Second gear, 90% effort. Third gear, 100% effort. 10 times uh, in whatever distance you have at first gear, rest, 10 times second gear, rest, 10 times third gear, rest, 10 times third gear again, and you are done. Um, Reminder, if you don't have space to do this, you can hook up to an anchor point with either a band or a rope. You can do that in place for 15 seconds. When you go for that distance, whatever distance it is you're traveling, it should take you about 15 seconds to get there. Whether you have five feet or whether you have 15 feet, you still wanna to work to get as many good reps and good steps as you can. The faster you go, right, the more that we wanna think about running in place as opposed to trying to go really far forward with each step. All right, so from there, going back to the push-ups, back to your squats, all right? Same thing as last time, we wanna beat our reps from our previous workouts. Whatever you did Wednesday, we're gonna either do an extra round, we're gonna do more reps, we're gonna to try to go a little bit lower than we did with our push-ups, so maybe instead of going on the countertop, we're going on the edge of the couch, or we're going from the edge of the couch down to the step, or from the step down to the ground, making sure you're doing it with perfect form, okay? Then we're going to our plank. After we do three to five rounds of our push-ups and squats, 10 to 20 reps each, we're going to our plank. Our plank, whatever we uh, did on uh, a previous day, on our previous workout, our previous plank, you are going to aim to beat that time. Same thing, perfect form. Remember, don't let that slip. As soon as you let that form slip, plank's over. All right, don't try to just hold it up there by sticking your butt up and shrugging your shoulders and pushing yourself back and letting yourself hang. We'd rather do it right. That's how we're gonna get a stronger core, all right? Finish up with your active hamstring stretch and you are done for the day, all right? If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Good luck, go get it.